So let's show some of this. Get us going here. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 47, Moving On. In today's episode, we decided it's time to move on to working with our fourth scale in this series, C2442558. In order to do that, we went to our reference materials, including our reference sheet, which explains uh, that there's five notes in the minor scale and there's five notes in the major scale and that when you smush them together you get eight which is why it's called a five five eight then we went to our tonality reference area score and we were cross-checking and cross-checking between this side here and this side here and lo and behold we found four more chords we had not um, quite identified and they're indicated here at the blue at the moment. And the reason we found them is that we were, we had an idea for how to compose, which was to focus on um, higher consonant chords. Uh, in other words, we have 54 total chords in here. We wanted to pick a subset of the 54 to work with. And we said, why don't we work with? And then we went and looked and we have, I've shown you this before in previous episodes. We have a, um, here it is, the consonants. And if you want to be above two consonants, you have to work with one, four, four, one, two, three, three, two, three, four, four, three, five, five, and four, four chords. And then we took the time to remind ourselves what is a one, four chord. It is a chord like this, where you start on a C, you go up one step, and then one, two, three, four, four. That's a one four chord. What's a two three chord? You go up two, two, one, two, three. So that's a two three chord, and the three two is just going up three two, like. And then the three four and the four three, which are our favorite ones. And we are so used to that in the West. And then our five five chord, which five. Ooh, sounds exotic, yet it is high consonants and 4-4, four, four, which also sounds, I don't know, almost disturbing compared to the other one, but those are all high consonants chords. So we we went through and we picked everything out from, from here, from these chords, 54 of them, and made a, a work area that said, let's only use those 16. We found 16 in all, 16 chords. And it turns out that there are four tonic, four dominant, and four ambivalent, eight ambivalent. And we reminded ourselves that a tonic chord has rest energy, a dominant chord has urge energy, and an ambivalent has kind of a rest and urge clashing together. So then we decided to take that and, and start putting them together and make an impromptu. So that all that would happen today. Um, we were also thinking about from our last composition how to do multiple scenes. I mean, our last composition has six arcs in it, and we were thinking, could we have six different scenes? And our brain said, let's punt, or you know, let's think about it for a while. So because fresh brains count for a lot. Um, so what we ended up doing today was what we call enumerating slash cherry picking. In other words, we sort of we sort of picked a, a guideline and anything in here that's over two, and then we went in here and we just kind of plinkety plonk copied and pasted them over here, and we call that cherry picking. And it works up to a limit. It works up to a limit, and then and then you have to add structure and theory to complement it. And just as a, a gross example, for example, with 52 chords in this tonality, it said how many two bar cadences, how many two chords in a row could you make 54 times 54? Oh my God, 2,500 over 2,500. That's, so we, you know, could you could try enumerate all 2,500 and then in about a week, come back and listen to them one at a time to see what sounds good, which would be cherry picking. So enumerating and cherry picking work up to a limit. And that limit is something on the order, we're gonna say of 150. And then after that, like we said before, the brain punts. 
So even here, we knocked it down to 16 chords, and we were trying to pick out um, direct cadences, which is a dominant hits a tonic, or an, uh, a statens, which is you have two tonics in a row. There were, there were so many possible chords here, 16 times 16 times just 256 by cadences. And, but we supplemented it. Like we said, we supplement it with theory and structure and also listening. And there's nothing wrong with cherry picking, picking stuff that sounds good. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Enumerating also helps us make sure we check. We're kind of checking everywhere to look to hear stuff that sounds good. And then finally, our structure and theory help us just say, okay, cut. Let's work within this space. Let's work within the creative limits. So we began composing and we made a work area and impromptu scores. Now, along the way, our other reflection is our thoughts are shifting to include, include composing for presentations that are coming up. The first one is next week. And we're really tickled with this one. What we did was we created this composition. Um, it's an image composition. And the idea is we use the ear as our metaphor, which is very appropriate because we're in a music stream. And there's an associated theory with this about how many friends and acquaintances can an average person have. And by acquaintances, we include colleagues and audiences. And roughly it goes like very close. You can handle five, close 50, distant, and still have some meaningful connection 150 and then the most you can keep track of like even recognize seeing their picture or hearing their voice is 1500 why is this it's something to do with our cognitive processing power and the way that we um we hold internal emulations of other people the first internal emulation most people come up with is their caretaker their primary caretaker in other words mama usually mama or whoever's taking care of you, and then you expand from there. So this is going to be very relevant to our upcoming presentation, and we thought it was kind of cool to use the ear. Uh, another picture that we shared today that we have shared a lot is this from uh, Music Theory for Guitar, who emphasizes that we, we use what we call structure over here, structure, to, to help us come up with cool stuff. That's, that's his job. Help us come take an idea and come up with something and make it better or different or longer. And um, the only rule is, does it, is the rule of cool. Is how good or not? Did we get away with it? If we didn't, punt, try a different approach. So that's what we're doing today and what we did today. So to wrap it up for today, we're going to simply play for you the set of approximately, we came up with uh, 29 cadences to, to try to put together into some kind of story arc here. And um, we put pauses between them. And here we go. So that concludes our stream for today. What we like about what we did was we just 
got on the board with the 2442 scale. We like that we found four more chords in advance rather than finding them halfway through a comp composition going, oh my god, oh my god, which happened to us in the last one, which is fine because the more chords there are, the more material you have to work with. And in this case, they were they were three, four, four, three chords, which we were trying to focus on this time around, and and we found them. Um, we're kind of tickled. We labeled this one the A, the ABBA tribute to ABBA because it's a A flat, B flat, B flat, A flat. In other words, A B B A. There is no A in this tonality, so we have to live with that. So this is our tribute to ABBA. Da 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 da. Our ideas for next time are to continue working with the C2442558 impromptu. We're going to add some polyphones, which is this third line here. Um, we were playing, uh, we were not playing the polyphones that we wrote up here. Uh, if we did, you'd hear more depth. Uh, and then, as we said earlier, make some arcs. Start copying and pasting this stuff into something that kind of makes a song or a melody or, or, or whatever. Acknowledgements to King Kumopo who came by and uh, Miss Cleo as always. Look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.